Over the summer of 2016, McGuffey School District acquired a new aquaponics lab in the high school's agricultural department. We use it in uh, our introduction courses. Um, sometimes we're going to actually use this this year to start uh, some greenhouse plants. Um, and then my wildlife and natural resources class, we use it. Uh, we take the fish, uh, we check their weight. Um, we haven't done too much of it yet, but we check their weight. Uh, every week, uh, check the length of them, see if they're growing, and we make sure they're getting enough feed and the water temperature stays correct. And we test the water as well for pH and different things. Aquaponics combines aquaculture, which is the keeping of aquatic animals, with hydroponics, the growth of plants and water. In a fish tank, waste can build up in the water and cause toxicity. Here at McGuffey High School, we've decided to make use of all that waste and grow plants with it. This is accomplished by connecting the fish tank to a hydroponic system where the waste from the fish provides key nutrients for the plants to grow. The plants then give off nutrients that are beneficial to the fish and then our filtered water goes back to the fish tank. This is a system in which can work for itself and once set up needs very little human attention to keep running. In the elementary school they are focusing on growing lettuce and spinach. The high school is experimenting on lighting at the moment. Uh, right now we've got lettuce that we're getting started growing, um, but we're going to probably potentially do uh, tomatoes. I would like to do some uh, testing with uh, maybe growing sapling trees out of it. I don't know if we'll be able to, um, but I'd like to do some different uh, hard, hardwoods and for uh, and mass trees that we can use to plant uh, in the springs. We feed the fish Purina Aquamax 4000 seven times a week, two times a day. We are on a working system that allows us to feed the fish from plant waste and never have to purchase fish food again. The four parts of the aquaponic system are the rearing tank, settling basin, biofilter, hydroponic subsystem, and the sump. The rearing tank is the tank for raising and feeding the fish. The settling basin is where all the uneaten food and detached biofilms are caught. The biofilter is a place where bacteria can grow and convert ammonia to nitrates which are then used by plants. The hydroponic subsystem is where the plants are grown by absorbing excess nutrients from the water. The last part is the sump which is the lowest part of the system where the water flows to and from which is pumped back into the tank. The most common species of fish to be used in aquaponics are tilapia, barramundi, silver perch, eel-tailed catfish, jade perch, and murray cod. These, these are tilapia, so they're actually an invasive species in this area, but um, obviously if you keep them contained, they're really good, quick, easy fish to start any aquaponic system with um, because mm, they're really hardy as long as you keep the temperature up. There's multiple things we could possibly do. We are definitely, eventually, they'll probably get eight, eight somehow. Uh, I'll probably fly them up and maybe the classes will be able to do that. Uh, we haven't figured out the logistics of that yet, but yeah. In conclusion, the aquaponics lab has seemed to be a success in the agricultural department at McGuffey High School. If you haven't yet checked it out, be sure to do so with the approval of Mr. Leisure or Mrs. Cambruzzi.